In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, Facebook ads to Integromat. So if you're running Facebook ads, there's one campaign that you can actually run, and that is to have a lead generation campaign and using Facebook lead ads. Um, the thing with Facebook lead ads is it allows you to be able to display a really quick form that's pre-filled with the person's name and also their email address so it makes it really easy for someone to be able to submit their information to you but one of the problems problems is with Facebook it doesn't allow an easy way to be able to get that information so they provide several different integrations with companies like Zapier um, Integromat which is the one I'm going to use several different CRMs but it requires a little technical know-how but for the most part um, you can use like a Zapier or Integromat and it's really easy and at that point you can be able to take the information from that form Facebook, um, Facebook first name email address and any other questions that you may have on your form and actually take that information and put it into your own preferred CRM or you can just send an email to yourself but in this video I'm just going to show you how to connect Integromat to Facebook and to be able to have that connection so that when you actually run your Facebook lead ads you can be able to get your information to the right place so right here I'm in Integromat in my account and right here uh, under scenarios I'm going to create a new scenario so once I quit, um, um, set up a new um, scenario I'm just going to skip this real quick it's a little sluggish today Oh. and right here I'm going to find Facebook so I'm going to hit uh, the plus sign here and I'm just going to search for uh, Facebook and what I'm going to be looking for is Facebook lead ads so right here where you see Facebook lead ads I'm going to click on this and what I want is new leads so don't worry about this other stuff here I just want any new leads uh, I want Integromat to be able to trigger based on that. So here it is. It's going to want me to create a, a webhook for it. I don't have any already set up for it. So I'm just going to hit add. And right here, I'm going to rename this uh, my new, I'm going to put FB lead add webhook, or you can call it whatever you want if it's for a particular site and right here I need a connection um, I think I set up one before but let's go ahead and hit add and I'm just gonna do my Facebook connection which is fine and what should pop up is a dialog box to be able to see uh, to log in uh, with Facebook and here's my account and it's just telling me that it wants permission to do certain things so I'm going to you can go through and look and see different permissions for certain pages or whatnot but for the most part it, it should be cool to be able to just go ahead and just say okay uh, for those permissions and once I hit okay everything should connect in that way and now I have uh, access to the pages that I have so let's do a, a, a really quick example let's do this one here as a new page and I don't have any form set up, so let's, let me actually use one that I have form set up. So let's go to uh, da, 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 this one here, a lot of house nerds. And I have several different forms that I have set up now. So I'm just going to hit this form right here for my lead form. And you'll see that form once you're logged into um, Facebook on your campaign, right when the ad, at the ad point, you can be able to create a form and name the form. I always use a VR version so just in case I actually do a new one I can be able to go to the next version so I make sure that I am using the latest version of that form so this is just one example here and I'm just gonna hit save and once I have that set up let's hit show address then I'm going to hit OK and now I have access to any leads that come through 
come through my lead form that I have set up. So if I want to, let's see if I can just add like a variable. And I may have to run a test to be able to get those parameters first. So I'm just going to do test, test. This is in the form that I, I mean variable I want it. Uh, set variable, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's delete that. Put this up here. Yeah, this is what I want. So I'm gonna just put, uh, let's say name. And the value, the value I want to be able to use here, I want to be able to use full name. There are gonna be different fields depending on how you set up your form. If you have forms with uh, custom names, um, you're gonna be able to see them within this um, field data. Um, part of the values are the, um, what's coming from Facebook uh, lead ads. And you see right here where I have full name, I have the email address, I have phone number. So if I want to set up a variable up for whatever reason, I don't necessarily have to do this. I can just go ahead and let's delete this real quick. And let's set up a, an email that will come to me. I'm not going to get into the whole CRM stuff because that's uh, another video for another time. But for the most part, now you have access to be able to at least send an email to yourself with that information. So right here, I have email. I'm going to click on this to be able to, um, I got to add a connection. So if you don't have a connection already set up, you would need that or you can probably send it through Gmail. Um, so I'm just going to put test as the subject and the content. If I want to be able to say email and I'm going to click on email in my email, it's going to show up this content here with email and then the email that the lead actually sent. And I can just go down the line um, with information that I want and I'm sure right, it uses HTML tag so I will have to separate if I want to do it on different lines and if I want to do the name here for whatever reason I can just click name and do the same thing for phone number you don't have to do the spacing I'm just doing it just because I like to have some spacing so phone number so Basically, I can add myself as a recipient or I can send an email to myself um, and this information from the lead can come to me. But naturally, you would want to put it to your CRM and then at that point, you can do your automations, do your drip campaigns and things of that nature. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, look for other videos that I'm going to be doing just connected to CRM, some of your favorite ones like Active Campaign. Um, if you're a realtor, maybe um, follow up boss or um, lion, 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 I forgot the name of it, um, uh, lion desk. Um, but for the most part, this should be able to get you in the right direction, connecting your Facebook lead ads to an integration platform like Integromat. Same process probably would happen with Zapier. Uh, probably going to do a separate video for that. It's going to be a little bit different, but for the most part, you're going to go and connect your uh, Zapier, uh, Zapier account to Facebook, and then you pull down and look for your page, and then at that point, the same, pretty much same process. All right.